of people's relationships. Let's do another dome run. As a WLW, you love the term girlfriend. What's a WLW? Women love women. I like the term partner because are you dating? Are you solving crimes? Are you doing crimes? <laughs> Nobody knows. Which one am I doing? Am I the crime solver? Am I committing crimes? Let's find out. Celebrities, do they know things? What do they know? Let's find out. Women love women slash women loving women. Yeah, I can't call. I uh, here's something I can't comprehend. Also, good morning, Joel. I can't comprehend how some people, guys and gals, I can't I can't understand how some people can wake up and like men. How do you do it? How do you do it? How do you wake up and go like, oh yes, men. They're the worst. They're the worst. Come on, man. And some of you wake up and you're like, yeah, men. <laughs> how do people do it? You know, like men that are pretty like women. She hates men. I mean, I've never seen a woman in charge take over a country and kill a bunch of people. Never seen that happen. That's a dude exclusive. That's not a good exclusive. Boys are so stupid. They just invade other countries. Come on, people. Boys are sexy dumb. Oh god, Cat loves when watching TikTok. We fart and burp and scratch at the most inappropriate times. I know, right? <laughs> I had to force a burp for that one, man. <laughs> I had to force one. That wasn't unnatural. Ugh, men. I like the two different audacities of the chat. Devil says boys are dumb, and then Catloaf is like, boys are sexy dumb. It's like, oh my goodness. Hear that, gentlemen? We're sexy dumb. Don't know what that means. But why do you want to be dumb? Being dumb sounds horrible. It's never too late to learn something new. A new bride I knew asked her mother-in-law if her husband was, was as gross as her son. Mother-in-law was like, yep, they are men. <laughs> they are men. If you, if you go somewhere in the world, we will have men there. Men will be there waiting. Ready. You know what tofu and dildos have in common? They're both good meat replacements. Well, I've had tofu. I wasn't the biggest fan of tofu. It's okay. Dildos, I'll have to come back to you on that one. Never had a dildo. But just perk me up and get me some lube and call me Willy. Dildos on the other hand. Oh my goodness. You ever eat tofu with a dildo? That's the biggest meat replacement of all. Oh, sweetie, we're having tofu. Did I get the dildos? Gotta get the right kind of dildo. The Dragon Force dildo, or whatever it's called. That website that sells ridiculously large pleasure and items like that. It was a website. I know a guy. I know a guy. It's gonna make a great Let's Play video. Oh yeah, YouTube is probably like, what is going on? YouTube, you could join this conversation. You know that? Coward. Get a bad dragon and use it? If I tell me I should eat tofu with a bad dragon dildo? 
Talk about a bad boy. Green I say the same thing when never mind. There's a charity goal. Listen, I what would you rather do? Have a bad dragon dildo or eat a freaking dead fish bean? You know, those dragon dildos do seem quite economic. I've never gotten pleasure from a dead fish bean. I'll take Dragon Dota for 300, Alex. Answer, daily double! I'll wager it all, Alex. You just won yourself 300 donuts. <laughs> Uh, when would the spit die? Only burst content. You see, this is why my stream doesn't really grow and attract new viewers. Because I... I talk about the most off-the-wall shit. If it vibrates, you'll take it? Whoa, my goodness. Hot diggity dog. Hot diggity Dan. <laughs> Hey, I'm running the Tesla dome this time. When did that happen? That's why you love my stream. You see, new people, if you just give me a chance to explain my reasoning behind the dragon dildo, I paint in my red because I'm such a big fire dragon fan. If you look up fire dragon on bad dragon, you might get a sponsorship. My favorite dildo. I don't go anywhere without my fire dragon dildo. It's 7.64 inches of pleasure. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, you would never have guessed I had an anxiety attack before I went to bed. As much as you love this combo, you gotta go. Yeah. Go to baddragon.com right now as we speak. I know you. The one of one for Fire Dragon? No, no, they're working on a sponsorship, maybe. <laughs> so, what were we talking about? What were we talking? Oh yeah, marriage. So yeah, marriage is um That's a thing. Some people do it, some people don't. Oh, size-wise, 7.64 inches, girl. No. Fire Dragon fan. Yeah, show Fire Dragon that when he wakes up and he, we that'll be a good way for him to start his day, a heart attack. I can picture him watching that clip now. Burr! It's like whenever he has Liss on stream, it's like, Liss! You can't just say the word fuck! I call him Five Five Small. He was 130 pounds. All you hear is Dragon Dodo. And if you go to baddragon.com and use code FIFI, you could get 7.64% off your order. That's actually not true. He's probably going to have some fucking agency reach out and sue me or something. For defamation. He's a big streamer. He could probably, he, pre, he, he could definitely get agencies to work for him because he's got the view count. I don't. Listen, I reach out to agencies to work with me. They ghost me. They, no, they don't even ghost me. They don't even respond to me.
I gotta, I gotta be careful with these big streamers, man. All it takes is one snap of a finger, and I'm blacklisted from the mar from the the whole goddamn industry. Nobody will work with the name Burr ever again. Not that anybody worked with the name Burr in the first place. Good morning, Zio. It's a good right way to start your day, don't you agree? I couldn't start my di my day without my morning coffee and dragon dodo talk. I don't know about you. Hi Fi is awake now. How lovely. Only birds would take off. Yeah, you saw me without my shirt on yesterday. Never seen the chat so thirsty. I saw someone type, damn, like that one dude in that one movie with Ice Cube in it and a guy that looks like Rajon Rondo. Damn. I don't even know what movie that is. What diggity dog. Friday, Rebecca Black. Wait, is today Friday? Today is Friday. Well, golly gee, today isn't that just promiscuous that today is Friday. Friday. I got to get down, Mr. President. The movie's called Friday. Oh, it is Friday, though. What's up? La 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 la. The class of conversation here. Isn't it a lovely conversation to have? Isn't it just, doesn't it just get you excited to come into the bear stream and just look at the chat history and be like, oh, it's one of those days. Oh, we're having one of those days today. Okay. I'm here for it. You gotta lower that IQ. Listen, I'm here to lower your IQ, not raise it. I'm not here to make you think. I'm here to make you think about your life choices, maybe. I'm not think in general. Those days get a lot of chat engagement. I mean, ah, yeah. So does dang it, Grandpa. I can't figure out a damn simple thing in chat. It's like, oh, I'm stupid. Stupid. I am also surprised at how many people love Dang It Grandpa. The amount of people that are like, oh my god, you're playing Dang It Grandpa for the first time? It's like, oh my god, you're a weeb? <laughs> That's what I say to them. You know, I really wish I liked anime more because then I could really piss everybody off with my bad anime takes. I could say anime takes that are bad now, but it really wouldn't hold up in a court of law because I haven't really seen any anime. But if I've seen the anime, I can just say shit like, oh yeah, Demon Slayer, that shit's so overrated. Catloaf, shut up. That was an easy thing to miss. What is dang it, Grandpa? Dong and Rapa. The game like Ace Attorney. It's like Ace Attorney. But darker, yeah. A little darker. What did I upgrade? Double shot? Yeah, double shot. Not bad, not bad. 
Peep up a peep, oh peep, oh poop, poop, poop. We're already at 20. We're already up to 114 points. That's not bad at all. It's a Zoro main. Hey, any normal person in the world will have Zoro as their favorite character in One Piece. I was watching a stream yesterday and they were talking about One Piece. I cannot remember for the life of me whose stream it was. I'm sorry to this person. But someone asked them what their favorite One Piece... It was Strawberry. It was Tov. Strawberry. She's doing a subathon. It might end today, actually. But she's doing a subathon. It's on like day 19. And they were talking about One Piece because she was showing off a tattoo that she's going to get. And they had three options and chat was voting on it. And someone asked her her favorite One Piece character. And she said Zoro. Her favorite One Piece straw hat crew. And they said Zoro, and I was like, yeah, damn right it's Zoro. Damn right it's Zoro. He's the only hot one. What's up, Uber Heavy? Hello. You hope they continue the live action one? I'm pretty sure it already got renewed for a season two. creator of One Piece even said, like, this Luffy character is exactly how I write him in the book. It's like, he's the perfect actor for Luffy. I was like, yeah, I can agree with that, even though I think I would have been a better actor for Luffy personally as someone who doesn't look the part, doesn't speak any languages besides English. Um, I just want money. <laughs> I could have also been a good choice. I could, you know, I can improvise. Imagine me as Luffy. My friends are getting beat up and I'm just like, hey, can you please stop? Don't make me gum gum you. Gum gum pistol. Gum gum bazooka. Gum gum. Oh, it got stuck. It got stuck because it's gum. Gum gum. I know, I know. Hold your autographs for the end of the session. Gum gum! Oh shit, he's gum gumming. Yo, who got that fire gum gum? A One Piece RPG? What, One Piece Odyssey? You know what I'm gonna say to that? Just win marbles. You want me to play a game? Just win marbles. I tried Hyper Light Drifter last night. Turns out I own it. It was fine for what you played. Fine for what you played. That's good. That's good. I seen this clip. Probably. Cat showing me a lot of clips. I don't know if I've seen this. I also love the Nami voice actor. She did a great job. I also learned she was 30, and I was like, damn, okay. She's the oldest one. I do not know what pecan is. They did not teach me that in English lessons. Do we know what that is? What, what is, is that? What is, what is, what is, what is, oh, noise. Buy the noise? Trash. <laughs> Trash. Trash. Yo, we got it's like that reminds me of the uh the, has anyone seen that one meme where it's like a guy's calling into like a radio show and they're like, hey, you're on the air. It's like, yo, dog, that shit's trash. Get it off the air. And they're like, oh man, come on. Yo, man, that shit's trash. Get it off the air. From Spain? Yes. Damn, dude. Con pie is awful. It looks good. But I don't mean it tastes good. Oh, 
Pumpkin pie also looks delicious, but I've never, you know, I've never really been a big fan of pie. I've never been a big pie fan. What's up, Alu? Good morning. How are you doing? Made pumpkin pie for the first time last year. So good. Like sweet Caroline. So good. So good. So good. I've been inclined. Oh, oh, oh. Believe there never was. Oh, now I look at the night. Boom, boom, boom. Heaven don't seem so lonely. We fill it up with only two. And when I heard, curtain runs off my shoulders. How can I hurt when holding you? Did you use evaporated milk or condensed milk to make it? You ain't talking to me. Talking to the pie maker. Also remind me in three minutes. 9.15 my time. 11.15 a.m. I have to... We have to do the process of uploading the YouTube video together. AKA, you have to watch me make an announcement in Discord and make a tweet. What up, Shark? What up, Shark? Yo, guys, Shark. Apples, please. You heard this is where you come for dildo recommendations? Hello, welcome in. What are you looking for? Pleasure? Or impressiveness? business bit of both oh i got the perfect recommendation for you you're looking for that sweet fire dragon experience now for an extra 5.99 we can get cute chat um embroidered on this if you want I need to have study to create your class schedule. But what's there to study if you're creating the schedule? All right, before we start this, my YouTube video is going to get uploaded in a minute. One minute. I'm just going to do it now. Not 15. It's got to be 15 soon. Any second. And did I really look at 914 right when it hit 914? You got to be kidding me. Ugh. You gotta be kidding me. 9.15. Wow, babe, new burr video is out. Yay. Oh, shit, I was supposed to goddamn get all the people I used. Man, my YouTube really... Why are you doing this? I'll add Discord first. At everyone, new video. More indie games you never heard of. Like and comment. Etc. Help. What up, Matthew? Hello. Hello. Got him. Got him. 
Thoughts on Microsoft owning Reinhardt? Eh, maybe they can do something useful with them. Maybe they could do something useful. I'll just say made a new video inspired by the upcoming Indie Land hosted by Where's the completionist? Compliments. I think his name's Gerard on here actually. There he is. Upcoming in host about the completionist. It's a banger. I promise. You just watched it ten times. You watched my video ten times. That's impressive. That's me in the thumbnail. Notifications. I cracked an egg on my head for charity. Okay. Let's get back to the dome. Back to the dome. Okay, we have eight points. Should I upgrade maybe movement speed? Oh, I could upgrade the slowing down. Back to the dome again. Oh, I upgrade the slowing down. Save for perfect shot. I don't know what perfect shot is. I got perfect timing. There ain't no perfect shot. To the lab again. Oh, it goes down. The hotel. I probably need to upgrade my dude as well. You know? Probably should upgrade my dude. But I need to find some ore for that. And golly gee, will you look at that? I found some ore. Well, golly gee, mister, isn't that just a lovely little surprise? Oh, wait, this guy will help me. Yeah, come pick up my damn materials for me. Also, Matthew, happy Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. For people that don't know, tomorrow we're playing Rocket League with Matthew and Evan, the president and COO of charity. Well, not of charity, of NBCF. Kevin's the COO and the president of charity as a whole. Of all charity in the world, we have Kevin. I am not doing well. I'm not doing well in my dome land today. My dome's about to break again.
your C2, C3. I don't know what coach. I don't know what that is. You got bingo. I haven't played Rocket League in, since the last year that we played with Kevin and Matthew. Uh, if you watch the clips back, you can see I am a great goalie. Top points, 0.7, percent of players. You're at the top. Damn, how much do you play? Oh, yeah, well, how much Rocket League do you play a day? I got the Diamond once in Rocket League when I was taking it more seriously and playing. Yeah, so I guess you could say I'm pretty impressive. Her hates charity confirmed. There it is. You can see my stellar defense in action. I'm going to shred it because I need health. I really wanted the teleporter, but I also want this run to last. That was a great save. Yeah, too bad I was on the other damn team. What the fuck? I needed the damn coal ball because I can't find any. Listen, man. Life is stressful. Today I had to wake up. Fuck me. No. Go to Bad Dragon. <laughs> With experiments to run and the research to be done on the people who are still alive. Believe me, I am still alive. And while you're dying, I'll be still alive. Oh, it costs three, dude. You gotta be kidding me. That could actually be really good. If I can get one more water, I could probably get that upgraded. Nice. We're still alive. You know, they never told you in adult class how hard it is to find a family doctor. 
You know, that's something I wasn't expecting in this world. Like, I'm trying to find a doctor right now. Because, you know, I'm a human and I'm trying to not die at the age of 26 when I got my whole life ahead of me. There was a class. <sighs> no. But, like... I thought, you know, it would be easy, but every time, everywhere I look, it's like, our doctors are not accepting new patients. It's like, what the fuck do you mean accepting new patients? Just check me out, make sure I'm not dying. I'm not asking for much here. You'd be like, why not? Like, l l let me in, man. I'm trying to live. Like, I'm trying to, f I haven't gone to a doctor in like seven years, and it's not because it's like, I'm cool, and I think not going to a doctor is cool. It's because nobody accepts new patients, ever. Like, what, do I gotta wait for your other patients to die first? That's not really fair. They got a doctor. They're gonna live longer than me. Because I don't got one. They're not gonna die. They have a doctor. I, I didn't realize how hard it actually was. And then, even when you find doctors accepting new patients... When you throw in the application of like, Hey, can you, you know, make sure I'm not dying... They can ghost you and ignore you? Like, I've filled out two, like, applications to be like, Hey, can I come get a physical checkup? I need to get a doctor. We just moved from a new province. Uh, and it's like, we'll get back to you within one business day. Bullshit, they haven't gotten back to me and it's been three business days in three months. We'll get back to you and we'll get back to you never. Like, should I just call you instead? Uh, phone calls are the way the wor world works. Yeah, if you want what you want, you gotta just call them on the phone and be like, Hey! Help me! But if I gotta do that, why do you got a goddamn online portal for it? I don't know, man. That's, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. I find it extremely annoying to find a doctor. Your stupid YouTube thumbnail worked because what is the cute-ass frog skateboard and now you gotta watch. Good. If you watch the video, you'll know exactly what it is. Looking through many doctors' websites and seeing who was accepting patients. I am in the process of doing that, but I also don't have a car. So whoever I go to, I have to Uber there. Still have to go on that fun journey here, finding a doctor. Isn't it the worst journey? Why is it so hard to look after your health? Like as a kid, most of the time, maybe you weren't lucky like this, but mo like as a kid, my mom gave got me a doctor. I don't know how she did it, but I had this dude named Steve who was always looking after me. But he was a kid pediatrician, so he he like looked at kids. But even when I was like 18, he was like, "Yeah, you can still come here, man." I was like, "Cool." How do you, like, what do I got to do for one of these doctors to reach it back to me and say, like, yeah, come do a physical? Like, aren't physicals, like, that's like the bread and butter. That's like the easiest thing, is it not? Isn't that like the easiest thing to, like, look at a patient for is a fucking physical? Like, that's putting bread on the table in a restaurant. And she just go to urgent care? Yeah, but it's like, I want a doctor. I want someone I can call and be like, hey, I got this weird thing on my toe. And they'd be like, is it a raisin? I'll be like, no, it ain't coming off. They could be like, yo, come to my office. I'll be here. And I'm like, cool, thank you. I go in there, they'll fucking try to pick it off like it's a raisin. Like, <laughs> I don't care as much. Like, like, what do I gotta do? I just want a fucking physical. That's the bread and butter of the doctor's office. 
I don't know, man. Is that too much to ask for? I'm looking for a primary care doctor. Yeah, aren't we all? Listen, most of us are looking for a partner in life, but in the behind the scenes, we're also looking for a doctor for life. And hopefully we don't outlive because I don't want to find another doctor. Yo, my doctor, they have to be like a couple years older than me because if they die, I'm dying. I ain't going through the pain of finding another one of these fuckers. Fucking Big Jerry's back. The last doctor you retired, then you just didn't go for 15 years. What, dude, you say this shit, but like, you make it sound like you're 60. And you're somehow the same age as me. Like, how are you, how are you the same age as me and 60 at the exact same time? Hey, yo, can Big Jerry die? Thanks, Big Jerry. Me and mine went through something very traumatic together. We bonded for life. What, you get into like a car accident or something while your doctor was like in the passenger seat? Did you find a raisin on your foot or something? I don't know, man. I just think it's it's too hard to find a doctor. And like, they say they accept new patients, but they ghost me. Like, hey, man, I may not have a lucrative wallet, but I pay taxes. You should love me, right? <laughs> Keep harassing them. Hey, it's like that freaking go live, but it's a doctor. Hey! Hey, help me! I've been having this problem for three months. I could be dying. But then you tell yourself, oh, it's been happening for three months. If it, it would have killed me. It would have killed me by now, right? So it must be fine. I don't need a doctor. It's been happening for months. I'm definitely not dying. Forgot I'm in Canada. Yeah, I can just walk into a doctor's office and be like, help me. And they'll be like, we'll pay you to help you. Oh my god, thanks for coming in. Here's a thousand dollars. That's why they're so... That's why you can't get into a doctor. Because everyone's trying to go to a doctor to get that free money. No wonder it's so hard. Everyone's entitled to health care. <laughs> Not me, apparently. Everyone but Dylan. That's the, that's the model. Canada. Everyone gets health care. Except Dylan. Fuck that guy. Big gay. <laughs> Big gay. Thanks for the hundred bits. Big gay. Big gay. Do you have any friends that can get you into their doctor? Maybe. I got one friend, but they moved away. To like 15 minutes away. To be closer to their family. We're 30 minutes away. And it's like, alright, goodbye. Every time I order Domino's, the dude... Every time I heard of Domino's, they call me Dilla because I messed up. They still, literally, every time I walk out, it's past 8 p.m. because I'm a degenerate. And I, we order the pizza. I walk out to meet him because the, the front door locks after 8 p.m. unless you have a fob. And he's like, uh, hey, I got an order for Dilla. And I'm like, yeah, that's me. And he's like, thank you for the tip, sir. And I'm just like, yep. He's like, have a good night, sir. And I'm just like, yep. Good kid. I don't think I'm going to kill Big Cherry in time. That would be fine. 
Who ordered Domino's two nights in a row and it was the same driver? You said, fancy seeing you again. You haven't ordered since. Fancy seeing you again, ma'am. Sleepy yuck. May your dome runs be blessed with cobalt. The start of this run was pretty blessed with cobalt, but now I'm getting absolutely screwed, chibi. Big Jerry's are flying and Dylan's are dying because they can't go to a doctor. But Big Jerry just died as well. If I delivered pizzas, I'd replace sir with daddy. Thank you for the tip, daddy. Got your meat lover's pizza, daddy. And that's how you get fired. Sucks to be a Dylan. That's... I think Lincoln said that. He was like, four score and fuck all the Dylans. Four score and seven years ago, we screwed a man named Dylan today. I think we could bring score back, you know what I mean? Had a name change feature. Good luck getting it on Domino's. Yeah, I have tried to change my name on the Domino's app. It doesn't let me. All because my fat American finger. Literally the first time Kat and I ordered a pizza. It was like three years ago when I first moved here. We were still living in our mom's apartment. And we were like, oh, we should order Domino's. Because we like Domino's and we're fucking lazy sometimes. Deal with it. We're like, yeah, let's get Domino's. Let's get Domino's. And I had to make a new, I had to make a new account because my American account didn't, you know, carry over. And, um, well, I hit B instead of N at the end and I hit Dillub and I didn't realize I hit Dillub. What's the name? On my Domino's app, it's Dillub. D-Y-L-A-B. And now every time, they're like, hey, we got an order for Dillub. And I'm like, fucking Christ. Of course you do. Of course. How much damage is it for the combat repair? I'll get combat repair. Pretty sure you can change that, Burr, unless you're just committed to this meme now. Last time I checked, I wasn't able to change it, so I'm not going to bother changing it again. Plus, whenever I open the Domino's app, I'm not there to change my credentials. I'm just there to get a pizza. Do it for the bit. I'm not gonna do it. It's 1300 the goal for the horror game. 1500 is the goal for the horror game. Got to go to your profile settings. Well, well, I say I'll do it, but I probably will forget. But it's good to know that I can have the power to change my name on Dot Domino's app. I'll never have to be called Dillib again until Shark comes in and is like, "Hey, Dillib." I'm like, "Hey, Sharky, Warky, Parky, Poo." Hey, future bald man. Ooh, woo. Ooh. Woo. You did it online. Oh. Yeah, I've never used Domino's online on the web. I've only used the app because I'm not a psychopath.
There's an app. Every time, every six orders on the app, I'm probably the same online. Every six orders, you get a free pizza. Imagine it's the same online. That'd be weird if it wasn't. Remember when you had to call? Wasn't that the worst? Their business has probably skyrocketed ever since technology like this, and they realize everybody doesn't want to talk on the fucking phone. Hi, can I have a pizza? Hi, what are your details? All right, write this down. Uh, J as in Gerard. Uh, A as in asshole. I'd rather starve, wouldn't we all? J as in Jerry. Arlen donated $25. More money to save the Tig of Bitties. That means I have to eat a fucking bean. I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. What the hell is this? Stinky socks are tutti fruity. What's up, Sockness? Good morning. Hope you're doing well. Every $25 raises a bean. Please be too. I need something fruity in my life. Fuck on. Also, a $10 donation gets you a truth or dare card. Arlen, truth or dare? What do you want me to do? The dares, the, the truths have been kind of juicy. But nobody does truth. If I can't do the dare, I'm not going to do it. Some dares I can't do. Yeah, the dare I can't do because I don't have money. It says order the spiciest takeout food and eat without drinking water. It doesn't say anything about drinking milk. I can't do that. I'm not ordering a fucking spicy kebab at 9.43 in the morning. I don't have the money for that. The truth is, what's one thing you wish you could change about yourself? My fucking hairline. You kidding me? It's an easy one. Oh! All right, I'll do the next dare just for you. I'll give you a. I'll give you a freebie. Truth, tell us about your most embarrassing date. I don't got none. Dare, choose a song to lip sync to or have your audience pick the song. Lip sync to? Why don't I just fucking sing the song? Are you kidding me? Guys, what do you want to hear? That's an easy dare. What do you want to hear? Hopefully I know it. WAP? I don't know what that... All I, the only thing I know about WAP is eventually they'd say, That's a wet ass pussy. That's all I know. That's the only part of the song I know. That's a wet ass pussy. Something like that. ETA by New Jeans. I don't know these songs. I know Friday. I know Skater Boy. If you guys donate $10, you can do a truth or dare as well. All it takes is $10 to charity. Think of all the fun truths you could do. And no one has done. Yo, Jerry, can you die? Thank you. Oh, the taste of your lips are Your toxic concept. And the thing that enjoys it. I'm a 
addicted to you, but you know that the toxic. I only have alcoholics sing that to their beer. Or whatever beverage they're drinking. Definitely singing the vodka coolers. I'm just Ken. Anywhere else I'd be a Ted. Is it my destiny to live this life? On fragility. I'm just Ken. Where I see love, she sees a friend. Yo, Ken, you, where you see love, she sees a friend? Yo, welcome to, like, every girl's worst nightmare. Guess what? She just wants a friend. Leave her alone, Ken. Cream by Iggy Azalea? I don't even know what that song is. The only song called Cream I know is the Wu-Tang Clan, and that's cash rules everything around me. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. Yo, I grew up on the crime side, the New York Times side. Staying alive was that no hive. Bombs bounced on old man so that we moved to Shannon Lane. A young youth. Yo, rocking the gold tooth, low goose. Do not know the American anthem? I know I'm proud to be an American, but that song sucks. And I'm proud to be an American! Or at least I know I'm free. If I'm straight or white and non-Hispanic, I can do anything I want because we fucking suck. We do, we do not treat people right. But people say we're so great. And I say bullshit, man. Well, gamers, I think it might be over. I haven't even touched Big Jerry over here. No, my dome is dead. Well, that, that runs lasted surprisingly an hour. Unfortunate run there. Uh, okay. Rip to the dome.